Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Danny with Stuff I Kinda Care About, and today I get to make a rad video with my boy Lucas. Hello! So, a while back, I made a journal for Lucas. Um, I think he likes it. It's kind of getting beat up, which mm. is really the purpose with a journal. Um, no, you don't get to see what's in there. That's no. secrets and magic. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Um, so today we're just going to be really quickly trying to get a journal done for him. He's going to start working on some leather. We're doing kind of a weird uh, binding-ish technique. Um, so I'm going to get him started cutting out the leather. Cool. And I'm going to explain what's happening. Uh, essentially, we're going to be using two straps like this. They are an inch and a half wide by six inches long. They will have a series of holes punched into the center and then three holes punched into the ends. The holes in the ends are for attaching the cover. This is actually how the cover is going to be bound. These holes are going to be used, I'm doing a simple saddle, saddle stitch to get the pages attached to the leather. So those are going to be what we use to uh, attach the pages. Speaking of pages, I have six signatures over here. So what I've done with this is I'm using some really light graph paper. Uh, it's a heavy weight. I've taken an eight and a half by 11 piece. I've folded them all in half and each signature has five pieces of paper in it. So we're going to get him a lot of, uh, a lot of sheets of paper. He and I have talked about the layout of this thing, what we want to see happen. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to move in an inch and a half from each end and that's where the straps gonna sit so I can mark off my inch and a half and that's that now the really interesting part is these holes on this are actually a quarter inch in from the edge so I need to add a quarter inch inside of that for the first one and then I don't even know how far apart these holes are they should be about an inch they are indeed an inch so I'll have to measure in a quarter inch and then another inch and that will be my two holes that I need to punch on each side. I'm going to be doing that. While I'm doing that, Lucas is taking an X-Acto knife and basically he's just laying this out, scoring the corners so that he can cut out the new pieces of leather. These are just templates that we're going to be using. Um, so Lucas, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? I am a single father and whenever I'm not um, doing dad stuff I work at the Mail Room Barber Company in Florence, South Carolina and I also cook at a uh, steakhouse um, on the weekends. I so, forget that you did that. Yeah, I am part chef. I went to culinary school so that's pretty cool. Was it um, though? Yeah, I went to uh, La Cordon Bleu St. Louis. <laughs> oh, did you? That's mm -hmm. rad, dude. Yeah, it was, it was pretty cool. Let's this for a minute. Yeah, yeah. That seems all pretty. So what I'm doing is just lining these signatures up and I'm just drawing a vertical line on the spines of these to show where we're going to be punching holes through. Uh, I'll just be using a simple awl for that and I'm not doing it on my cutting mat because I'm trying to not have to buy new cutting mats all the time. So I actually have a piece of wood that I'll be using for that. So you're probably not going to be able to see these are really light marks but on the spine I've actually got just tiny little pencil marks there. And we're going to be using this, which you've seen before if you've watched my old videos. And all you do is you just reopen this thing up, and you've got your marks right there, and you just punch through with an awl. And we're going to go ahead and make these holes not the tiniest things in the world. We are sewing through here a couple of stitches. And to be honest with you, both Lucas and I really enjoy almost a rougher aesthetic when it comes to journals and stuff like that. So if this isn't perfect, who cares? It's not like we're making it for, you know, somebody's super important life event. This is just two dudes looking for an excuse to hang out and have fun together. <laughs> yes, sir. All right. Um, so the really important thing with this while you're working, again, just be conscious of keeping these pages 
decently lined up, they'll want to kind of walk away from you. Um, I'm doing something that a lot of people that bind books would be mad at me about, and I need to fix that. Um, technically, you're supposed to keep your signatures in the original order. So if you're taking a stack like this, this is my other stack, uh, you should be taking it off the top of this, punching the holes, and then putting it like that so that they stay stacked in the same order. It's a bookbinding thing. I will get yelled at if I don't do it by somebody, I'm sure. Uh, but it's okay, I make a lot of mistakes, and I have yet to have anybody call me out on them in these videos, which is interesting. So, feel free to comment and be like, yo, you're an idiot, you should probably do it this way. Uh, Lucas, what do you plan on doing with this journal? I, um... So, I am plan on keeping it for whenever I fill up the other one that I have, um, because I really, really like having something to just jot my daily thoughts in and things uh, that we do in the mailroom. Uh, I write a lot of recipes down and just take notes in general um, of what we're doing. Uh, like, I've been using that a lot for whenever I was making the deodorant and stuff. I would just always just jot stuff down and... Nice. It's nice to have like a nice handy little absolutely trusty. I'm that weirdo that loves making journals, yet I keep all of my notes in my cell phone. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's 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 the most backwards thing ever, and I'm okay with it. All right, so we can't really prep covers yet because. We have to have those pieces in order to do that. Hmm. How are you doing over there, by the way? I'm doing all right. I was, I'm, I'm struggling a little bit. Okay. It's all good. What do you need help with? Um, I didn't, I feel like I didn't exactly see my... Your cut lines? Yeah. Okay. And, uh, but you know what? I think I got So, you, you can just cut all the way through on this long cut mm -hmm. because you don't have to worry about what's going over here, right? Yeah, yeah. And you can always pick out with that thing. Alright, so I have all of these holes punched. I really, really hope that I punched them in the right place. If I didn't, uh, we may have to scrap this and start over. Oh, first yay! Time, first time cutting leather. Dude, that looks sick. Okay, um, I'm gonna let you continue like through this. that process. Mm. I'm gonna go ahead and take over this and do another one. I feel like that's reasonably close, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should be decently proud of yourself. Perfect. Very good. Hmm. All right, so you know what you're doing next, right? Yes. Uh, You'll be doing edging. Edging. Yeah, so you're going to take the edging tool over there and, and just kind of come in and try and make them a little cleaner. So edging tools are super fun to have for leather working, and it's actually something that I just recently picked up. I haven't been using one much to my chagrin. Uh, I should have been using one long before now, but, you know, I'm an idiot, and I don't always make the smartest decisions with my life. You can ask any of my friends, and they will corroborate <laughs> that. You know what? How are you feeling? It's, uh, yeah, I, do we have that exact one there? Yeah, we do. Yeah, let's clean that up real quick. All right. Clean away, my friend. So one thing uh, with the X-Acto knife, if you're using a darker leather like this, it is going to be hard to see those little score marks at corners. And you can always just kind of bend back the leather to see exactly where that score mark was. And then you just run down and... This edge is very intuitive. It makes, it makes a lot of sense how it... Uh, yeah, that's how actually one of the things I love about it is how super simple it is to use it and you don't there's no real learning curve to it mm. it's just pick it up and go and act like you actually know what you're doing which is great for people <laughs> like me yeah, and and myself included yeah look at that right there oh yes mm, that's very satisfying yeah it's a super fun tool to use and hopefully We'll get the results that we need out of this. Okay, I did cut this properly. Good. 
I scared myself there for a second and thought that I didn't cut the, uh, the corners in properly. Mm. And I was about to have to remeasure. But I think, I think I've done this properly. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, they're both looking good. Mm -hmm. All right, um, I'm going to let you continue doing pattern things and hand me that edger when you're done with it, and then I'll start using that. And we're just going to kind of rock and roll through this process as quickly as possible. There we go. I think that's it. That looks good, dude. Perfect. Now I'll be using a fine point sharpie. Yep. Yep. To uh, make these little marks. So what we did, I kind of did a, a practice run on those and created a template so that we can just basically draw through the extant holes instead of having to measure everything out because I don't want this video to take, you know, five years. I may end up cutting film when we go to start sewing. Um, the sewing is not going to be the most, like, glamorous part of this. It's definitely not something that I know, I don't know anyone that likes sitting and just watching someone sew. Yeah. <laughs> to be I can't think of anyone myself. I feel like that's uh, it's one of those like, yeah, sure, I'll watch you sew, you weirdo. <laughs> um, if you like watching people sew, I apologize. So, I don't know if you can see that, but we got nice, nice marks. And so is now this is the point where I would grab this uh, this toy here. Yes, and you're going to be doing it onto this. Cool. So you can clean this up real quick. Yeah. You got sure. the trash can? Yeah, so. Just drop it in my hand. Cool. And then just wipe the rest onto the floor. I vacuum regularly. All right, so both of those are ready. Cool. Um, we're just going to pop those through. That you're going to be using. Alright, so I get to show you guys what the covers are. He doesn't know yet. I haven't seen it. Don't pay attention yet. I won't look. Stop looking. I won't look. Okay, so. Canvas. So, <laughs> dude, that's sick. So these are just uh, really simple canvas boards. That's um, awesome. And Lucas is actually an artist. And right. so I wanted to give him something that he can go a step further and create more into this project. That's sick. So what this is basically going to look like, to give you a sneak peek, we're going to have all these pages stacked up. And yeah, these are a little bit too big. So what? Um, so all of this is going to get sewn together onto the leather. And then we're going to be taking these, and they're going to come over like this. And so this journal is going to be really simple, really cool, and the straps aren't going to line up, and it's going to look wonky, and I'm okay with that. I love it. Because it's going to be awesome. Uh, you need a hammer, don't you? I do need a hammer. Isn't there one right there? Right here. There we go. Um, yeah, yeah. So, actually, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Okay. We need to move cool. really quick. So I'm just going to pop through these. Um, okay, so I'm actually going to cut the tape here um, and do all of this and get everything prepped out. All we're going to do is match up the holes, and we actually may just go ahead and cut here and then show you the finished product and talk about that. Cool. So we'll check back with you in a minute. All right, so we're back. Uh, these have gotten cut out. These are all punched. All of our signatures are ready to go. And I'm just going to show you guys really quick the saddle stitch that I'm using for these. I have some waxed crocheting yarn here. Um, so this, this is, is a beautiful gold color. This is pretty I simple. Love it. We're going to come through here. And this is where it gets interesting. So we're going to do this. And we're actually going to leave a tail there. We're going to sew through this part here. So you went through the leather again. Yeah. So you'll actually see the method to my madness in a moment. Okay. So that's going to connect like that. Mm -hmm. And then we come out here. 
And this is where it gets real fun, because I only have two hands. <laughs> Sprout's third arm. I, I, dude, I wish. <laughs> that would make my life so much easier. Yeah. And the cool thing about leaving this tail undone here is you actually... Can you just help oh, guide yeah. that up for me? Thank you. There we go. Uh, is you actually can tighten this a lot easier. So all we're going to do then is come back through this hole here. The one that you already have thread through? Yeah. So we're going to come back out that hole and then through the leather. And that pulls that taut. And then we're coming through the leather here and through this hole. Oh no. That's fine. And then what we're going to do is pull this tight. And now I'll use this. And we're going to cut this right there. Cool. And then all we have to do is tie a knot in this. Why is that on my hand? And this doesn't have to be the most perfect knot that you've ever tied. It just needs to hold things decently Together. secure. Mm -hmm. And this is going to have a little bit of flex to it, a little bit of wiggle. But, oh well. I've done worse things with my life. Than have a little wiggle. Right. <laughs> Alright, so that's the first one. We're going to do the exact same thing with this one. And we're going to actually go through the same holes in the leather that we did through that one. Okay. That's why there's three holes here. We're going to do two signatures per hole. Okay. And that's how we're going to just bind everything together really quickly. Cool. So we're going to finish that up, and then I'm going to bring you guys back and show you how we're going to do the covers. Cool. Hey, welcome back. So we have stitched everything together. Uh, I'm actually really excited about this. There's a little so bit of beautiful. remnant wax hanging around, but that'll rub off eventually. Um, this is stout. This is going to be super crazy, and I'm actually pretty upset that I don't get to keep it. Um, so what we're doing is we're fitting covers. Um, this one, basically, we put here, and we folded the leather over. And then we went ahead and marked holes that we're going to punch. And we're about to do the same thing with this one, just on the other side, so that all the holes line up. And what we're doing is, is we're just kind of eyeballing the top and bottom. Again, this doesn't have to be the most perfect thing that we've ever seen. So, we're just using that fine point sharpie to mark these holes. We're going to use our punch to punch them. Uh, if you want to do this a little bit more like professionally, you could actually come in here and you could uh, take a skiving knife and you could actually, I think it's a skiving knife. If I'm wrong, let me know. But yeah, you could basically thin the leather out there and let it bend a little bit more easily. But we're idiots and so we're just going to do it this way. Well, I'm an idiot. I don't know about you. Speak for yourself. <laughs> Speak for yourself. I'm a genius. Uh, no, I'm, I'm... So we're going to see if this actually cuts through as well as we want it to. Yes. Ooh, nice. Alright, so this is a really loud noise on camera and I apologize for that. But yeah, that I want to show you guys what we're actually doing. Lucas, can you go ahead and get the rivets ready? Yeah, I can. And now I believe we need 12, correct? Uh, yes, we will need 12. You are correct, sir. Okay. Uh-oh. That didn't cut all the way through. Well, that's a problem. So this isn't actually cutting all the way through, which is super fun, but I'm going to fix that with the awl. The main reason that I want this punch is to just make the top not look terrible. 
And again, I apologize for that noise. That's kind of atrocious. Alright. You can use this all to punch through this side to show us where we want these holes to be. And then we're going to come back on this side and push through. Yeah, this is going to be perfect. Very good. Yeah, these, these rivets should fit snug right in there. Oh yeah, they'll fit very snugly in there. Um, this one I'm going to be a little less careful with and just kind of guesstimate. Because, why not, right? Mm, why not? We're Just professionals. We're not professionals. We're not professionals. Professional idiots, maybe. I don't get paid enough money to be a professional idiot. True. All right. Let's see if we can actually make this work. So, we are going to see which side lines up better. Oh, that lines up perfectly. So, I think we're going to want to lead with the post side. Ooh, these might not be long enough. Ooh. Where are the other sides? Oh. I thought that uh, <laughs> I thought that was the only side, but hey, you know what? There's one. Do you remember that entire conversation we had before we started? Yeah. Where I was like, hey, there are two sides to these. Guess what? And you were like, yeah, that's cool. So maybe you, you can speak for me whenever you, you call me an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I guess so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, dude. Dude, this is gonna look so good! Eight. <laughs> You're gonna have significantly less room to paint on this thing. Just a fair warning. That'll be, that'll be fine. Oh, dude, yeah, that'll be nice. It'll be cool because you can, uh, I can just from where the leather starts and go back or just leave that white and then from where the leather starts forward to the end of the cover, I could uh, get some really cool, really cool stuff on there, I think. I think so as well. I mean, I hope so. If not, we can try something else. Do you have the little hammer over there? I do. Okay. So I'm using this because uh, I think this is bronze uh, and it's hopefully not going to junk up these rivets quite as badly. Okay, so we're getting there. Mm -hmm. Slowly but surely, I'm going to have to kind of try to work my magic, to be honest with you. Ew, gross. Is that coming? Yeah. Performing a little minor surgery. Very nice. I really, really hope that this turns out as good as we want it to, dude. If it doesn't, I'm gonna be a little, a little upset. God knows. I mean, it's looking pretty good. Those rivets aren't really going anywhere. I swear, they're loose. Oh, <laughs> Dude, that looks so, so good. That really does. Okay, folks. So uh, we hammered in all of the rivets, and this is the finished product. Uh, these are just really simple uh, canvas boards for the covers. Did a little bit of just normal, like, basically butcher cardstock type stuff, uh, craft paper. The rivets are just peened in place. They're not real rivets. They're just pop rivets. Not pop rivets. They're just um, snap rivets. Uh, everything is just simply saddle stitched through here. All of these are individual, so they actually lay decently flat, which I'm pretty excited about. It makes it easier to write in and draw in. 
And that, uh, I think this spring is going to come out as this ages, because right now that's a little bit too much. But It's a little springy. I'm pretty excited about it. What do you think, Lucas? I love it. It's got a nice heft to it. Um, I feel like that's a spell book. Oh, like, dude. It's, yeah, uh, that should contain some arcane knowledge For right there. For sure. Hooray. Just dust some stuff. Uh, now you got to figure out what's the cover. Is this the cover or is this the cover? I believe that one is. This is the cover? Yeah, I believe that's the cover. Alright. Yeah. I'm going to sign this thing. I'll sign it. And Signing gold. We're going to sign off. And Lucas is going to drop his name in there as well. Thank you everyone for watching with us. I know this got a little bit weird, a little bit ridiculous, but we had a blast. I hope you did too. If you're enjoying what you're seeing, please think about hitting that subscribe button, hitting the notification button. Ding. Please leave me some comments, let me know what you think, and I will hopefully be talking to all of you soon. We'll catch you later. Bye.